everybody and welcome back to another episode of ACTV Live. I am Jack Boomsma. And I'm Elliot Hartford. Elliot, why do you seem so down? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just getting stupid. Oh, okay. Um, uh, so Elliot, how's your week been so far? Uh, it's been going pretty good. Uh, you know, kind of disappointed that you guys took that L yesterday, right? Two days. Two days ago on Tuesday against High Morning. Pretty sad there. It was a good game. Senior night was fun though, so that's good. We played a good game. But uh, first off, we're going to send it to Briar with Kisney Elementary. I'm Briar Close for HTTV Live. I'm here with... Lena. How are you doing, Lena? Um, what grade are you in? First, sec, kindergarten. Kindergarten. Uh, how are you liking school? Good. Good. What's your favorite subject? Phonics. Phonics. Have you learned anything new in phonics? For learning letters. Nice. Um, what's your favorite thing to do in recess? Tag. That sounds nice. And now I'm here with... James. James. What grade are you in? First grade. First grade? Okay. How are you liking school? Good. Good. What's, what's your favorite subject then? Or something, your favorite thing to do in school? If people... Cards. Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing to do at recess? Play tag. Play tag. Awesome. And now I'm here with... Jasmine. Jasmine. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. Uh, how are you liking school? It's okay. It's okay. Um, what's your favorite subject then? Math. Math. Anything... Knew you learned in math? A lot. A lot. Math is interesting. Um, what's your favorite thing to do at recess? Um, the monkey bars. The monkey bars? I've always failed them. Back to the desk. Thank you, Briar, for those interviews. It was good to see those. Uh, we'll send it to Jacob for weather. It, it's the weather, man. Uh, for your Saturday forecast in your Hitchcock Tulare area, uh, for Friday we got a high of 33, low of 0. Saturday's a high of 29, low of 14. Sunday's a high of 35, low of 14. Uh, Monday is a high of 21, low of 23. And then Tuesday we have a high of 41, low of 14. Wednesday is a high of 34, low of 10. And Thursday is a high of 42, low of 17. Back to you. Thank you for that weather update, Jago. It's been a nice last week, but it kind of looks like it's going to go back down like it has been. Like it should be. Yeah. Got a little bit of rain today, actually. A little sleet and then rain. So yeah, that was really surprising. I rain don't in, usually look at the weather, but... Rain you know, in February. Rain in February? Okay. Weird. Weird. <laughs> uh, now I'll send it to Zach for sports. Lame. Now I'm here with the sports update. Uh, this past week we had three games. Uh, uh, in Sunshine Bible, the boys uh, they played they played the Crusaders and they won 64 to 39. Uh, on Saturday they played Dubrook area they lost 38 to 67. Uh, and then this last Tuesday we played Highmore Herald and they lost 42 to 47. For the girls uh, they played Sunshine Bible. And they won 56 to 26 uh, against Dubrook. They lost 34 to 64, and against Highmore, they lost 23 to 39. Uh, upcoming games will be the uh, doubleheader against Iroquois Dolan in Dolan uh, Thursday at four. Uh, they travel there today. Uh, on Saturday, there's a doubleheader in Hitchcock against Castlewood. Starts at two. Uh, and then for the boys, it just boys, next Tuesday, yes, next Tuesday, the boys will be playing Ipswich in Ipswich, and that will start at four, we'll start at six. So, there you go. 
Now I'm here with Coach Smith. Uh, Coach, you had a couple games this past week. Uh, Want to talk about a couple of them? Yeah, um, I believe where we left off in the last time we talked to you, um, we played SBA. You know, it's always tough to play a team twice. And so the second time around, I was really proud of our girls. They stayed focused, took care of business, and got a really nice win. And then on Saturday, we played. A, we came across a really tough um, Dubrock squad. You know, I think they're like 12-5, and five and um, they definitely had a lot of experience on the court. We just couldn't match them offensively. And then last night, um, we played one of our better teams in the conference, Highmore Herald. They're also 12-5, and five, and I was really proud of our girls. I thought we played excellent defense. We just got to find a way to score the ball. Mm-hmm. And last night was senior night. Any words on the seniors this year? Yeah, this year we have two senior girls on our team, Madison and Shandy. And, you know, I'm just really lucky to have both those girls on our team. Um, They've both stepped up this year. They're great leaders for us. And um, it's really going to be sad to see them go. And we just want to enjoy these last few games with them. And um, once again, I just want to thank them for everything they've done for our team this year. Yeah, and uh, uh, there's a couple games coming up there. To throughout the weekend, I guess. Uh, Want to talk about them? Yeah, tomorrow we head to Dolan. We're super excited um, to have another conference game versus Iroquois Dolan, looking to pick up another win. Mm-hmm. And we got to be ready to play. They're going to be ready for us, and so it should be a great battle. And then on Saturday, we host one of the top teams in the state, Castlewood. I believe they're like 13-3 and three on the year, so that'll be a great um, battle for us. But if you want to be the best, you got to play the best. So just um, got to use those games to help keep us get be- get better and – just so we're at our, our best come postseason play. So, all right. Well, good luck, coach. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Zach, for those uh, sports updates. Now we're going to actually send it to Zach again for the senior spotlight. Yes, we, we are. Got, hold, on, hold on. We got two senior spotlights for you this week. And for the next two weeks, we'll have two a day and then one after that. So, Oh yeah, this will be wait some, till graduation. Count the days. Yeah, this will be something new to the channel, or not to the channel, but this year. Um, so yeah, send it to Zach. I'm Zach Gilbert. Back to you with the uh, senior spotlight today. I'm with Raymond Cole. Uh, Raymond, what are your plans after high school? Um, I plan on going to Lake Area Tech and uh, pursuing Precision Egg. That's a good program over there. Uh, any scholarships or sponsorships that you are applying for? Um, so far, I've applied for VentureCom, um, the Egg Tiger one, and a few others. Good. Uh, scholarships are definitely a go-to. Uh, it's pretty much free money, guys. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your dream job? Um, I don't know. Coming back and working on the farm, helping out. Um, using what I learned at college to help out. All right. Uh, Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, Either at a job in town or helping out on the farm. Yep, sounds good. Uh, What's your favorite high school memory? Um, uh, Mr. Brink yelling at people. That was pretty funny, unless you were the person getting yelled at. So... Well, thank you, Raymond, for your time, and good luck. And now I'm here with Jed Waldner. Jed, what are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm going to go to snowboarding college up in Colorado. Have fun up there. No, just kidding. We're uh, going up to Colorado for a Bible college. It's where uh, all my brothers went to, Timberline Bible College or something. Something like that. We'll see how it is. My brother called it Jesus Prison, but (laughs) we'll see. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Have you applied for any scholarships, or do you plan on applying? I've applied for a few. I see. I see. You best get on top of that. Um, what's your dream job, Jedediah? Uh, hmm. Um, I don't really know right now. Just gonna go out to Colorado, kind of figure out what I want to do. Dream job? Huh? I couldn't really tell you. Maybe something in agriculture. Maybe. How about be a carpenter like your father? Take on the family business. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I'll have to talk to Dan about that one. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years, Jed? Um, probably uh, just finishing up college after I get back from uh, the snowboarding college. So uh, then I'll 
hopefully uh, be knowing what I want to do, you know, have a, have a job, other cool stuff that old people do. Uh, Chad, what is your favorite high school memory slash moment? Um, probably being like, uh, probably like the homecoming king and all that kind of stuff and, you know, peaking in high school. <laughs> Now, if you ask me, I think the voting was kind of rigged in that election, you know. <laughs> I, if you ask me, that Briar Close guy should have won, but it's whatever. Why? Well, Jed, we've run out of time. So <laughs> uh, thanks for your time, and uh, this is a lovely interview, and I enjoyed everything about it, okay? So good luck to you. Thank, thank you so much. Good night. Thank you for those interviews, Dak. Um, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up on the 14th, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. I got your upcoming events on February 11th. There is enhancement tomorrow. And then on the 12th is uh, Rage and Science Bowl for all you cool cats and kittens out there. And then Girls and Boys Basketball versus Castlewood in Hitchcock starting at 1 o'clock. Uh, February 14th, there's a school board meeting, Valentine's Day. February 15th is boys basketball at Ipswich. February 16th is science fair. And February 17th is girls and boys basketball versus Wolsey Wessington in Tulare. Yeah, and then I got birthdays again. So, happy birthday to Lucas Hugh, uh, Hughes, uh, Lily Hughes, uh, Clayton Heisinger, Grace, Grayson Bixler, Caden uh, Bottom, uh, Damien, Damon Ross, and yeah, happy birthday, guys. Fun. Thank you, as always, folks, for tuning in to another episode of HTTV Live. I am Ron Burgundy. I'm Ryan Fantana. Stay classy, Hitchcock Tealer. And also, and also, Whoa. Next, <laughs> week, next week is FCCLA week, and the week after that is FFA week, so... Get ready for some fun activities and everything like that. And also, upcoming in the last week of February, I'm pretty sure, is uh, our snow coming. Why can you wait to do that until, like, you know? Because I wanted to say it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, right. see you guys. Uh